Well, it sure seems like we have gone weeks without significant rainfall. Five on your side's meteorologist Tracy Henson shows us how St. Louis measures up this June and if a drought may be on the way. Rain gauges are empty. Creeks are running low. And ponds could use a refill. We haven't had uh, really soaking rain in quite some time. We've had a little less than two inches of rainfall this June, putting us in the top 30 of driest Junes on record. That's something meteorologists like Matt Beicher at the National Weather Service are watching closely. When you don't have rain for quite a bit of time in conjunction with uh, a lot of evaporation in the atmosphere, so the moisture that's already at the on the ground is leaving the ground, um, conditions can start to wor worsen when you're talking about drought. We aren't there yet, but we are close. The National Drought Monitor has us ranked at D0, abnormally dry. The Climate Prediction Center, which is a division of the National Weather Service, is expecting drought to develop across southeast Missouri and southwest Illinois uh, over the next month, to month and a half. Drought may seem like a novel concept for the bi-state. We certainly remember flooding more than we remember droughts, but they do happen here. We're not completely you know, free of drought all the time. Uh, recently, we haven't seen much in the way of drought issues, but it is normal for us to see drought every once in a while. Drought is relative. Unlike California and New Mexico, where foliage turns brown, here in the bi-state, things almost always stay green. For the Five on Your Side weather team, I'm meteorologist Tracy Hinson. All right, Tracy. Well, drought actually impacts more than just agriculture. It can lower river levels, causing issues for fishing and float trips. The dry conditions could also be dangerous during the upcoming fireworks season.